Hi my beautiful Taurus and welcome to Arcana Priestess. This is going to be your February the 12th until the 19th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, hi, I am so glad to have you and if you are returning, thank you so much for coming. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always so greatly appreciated. All right, you guys, so from today throughout the end of the month, all of my personal readings, horoscopes, and questions are going to be 30% off. Valentine's Day, they're going to be 50% off, so you guys can look out for that. Take advantage of the sale. There is uh, new additions to Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram and you want more content, feel free to follow me. The link will be in the description box below. We have added... Um, Every Friday there is a weekend edition, so we go through all of the signs. You can look at your energy, the person that you're dealing with, their energy for the weekend, as well as on Saturdays we do free extended giveaways for the coming up week. So you guys are more than welcome to join me there. If you're not on Instagram, feel free to follow me on uh, Facebook, as everything I post on Instagram automatically goes to Facebook as well, because I know not everybody has Instagram. Um, if you're interested in the extended, the link for the extended will be in the description box below. I've done a few changes. So the extended is now going to be 20 to 30 minutes long. We're going to take a look at uh, you versus each of the signs. We're going to pull some romance angels, clarify those, and then we're going to go in deep and look at your love energy. As these are going to be more of an overall energy in the extended, we just get all into love. And we look at it more of um, a point of view from the person that you're dealing with, as well as from your point of view, but more about how they're truly feeling what they want want for the future and all of those kind of things personal readings description box below everything you need will be in the description box below so thank you so much if you stayed with me throughout all of those messages those of you following me on instagram facebook or here you're automatically entered in the giveaway to win a free reading which is something that i do at the end of every single month all right guys so let's just get in with your reading Right, so again, I've been called to do things a little bit differently. All right, so let's see what messages can we get for Taurus. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, you guys. Some of you guys are looking at something that you have put in a lot of your energy, effort, and time into. Wondering, you know, where are the results? Like, I've been working on this for so long. Where are the results, you know? And I feel like, you know, you guys are having to be very patient. Some of you guys are at the verge of giving up. And this is saying to hold faith, to keep giving. Because after the seven is the eight, which is where you realize that you are mastering your craft, that you are being recognized and acknowledged for the things that you have done, right? And then soon you get into the nine, where you are, you know, experiencing a life of abundance, a life that you've only dreamed of, that you only imagined when you first started working on this. Some of you, this could be a relationship when you start, first started talking to this person, putting in energy and investing your time into this person. And now you are on your way to marriage. You're on your way to being in a relationship to whatever it is that you want, right? So keep your eyes on the prize and you're going to get what it is that you want. Ace of Swords. Yeah, victory, uh, success here. Some of you guys, this is clarity within a situation. Some of you guys are not really looking at the bigger picture when it comes to this. If something is not working the way that you're doing it, then you need to take a step back and think of how you can make it work, right? What is it that you're doing that you could be doing differently? Some of you need to really analyze things and get clear about what's not working so that you can only focus on what is working. The King of Swords here. Yeah, you guys are mastering it, right? Absolutely mastering it. You're taking what you have learned and putting it to use here. This is also you guys cutting out things that no longer serve you here. Some of you guys are meant to be leaders. You're meant to be influencers. You know that there's a greater purpose out there for you and you're going to be taking action towards that here. You're going to be very um, off-putting to anything that doesn't serve you, anything that is not really on your divine path. You know where you're headed. You know where you're going and anything that doesn't fit with that, you're kind of going to just allow it to fall out of your life right now. Ten of pentacles yeah you guys are focused on stability wanting stability here within your relationship if you are in a relationship things are definitely going to be moving up this week here you guys are going to be feeling more content i feel like this relationship is going to go into a very homey type of energy whereas if this is somebody new that you've been dating you've been going out on dates a lot you're going to find yourself spending more time at each other's homes some of you guys are going to be introducing each other to your parents um family members friends here this is really just you know seeing how i feel like this is your person wanting to push the boundaries a little bit more wanting to see 
you know, in bigger and better ways, how you guys can communicate and get along in different situations. Your person really wants to see how their family will respond to you. The Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that sees you as somebody that they want to spend a long time with, somebody that can add value to their life, somebody that can help them grow, right? Some of you guys are definitely dealing with somebody who is um, helping you to utilize your strengths to the best of your abilities here. This person absolutely looks at you as a prize. They see you as somebody that they can have this Ten of Pentacles with here. And I feel like you are looking at this person, kind of waiting for them to approach you with an offer, whether this is to take things to the next level or just to get things started here. But I feel like you are looking at, you know, some of you guys are really reminiscing about all the time and energy that you spent with this person and it just makes you happy thinking about them. It makes you happy when you get a text from them. This is somebody that really knows how to make you feel happy. They intuitively just know what to do to make you feel good. I feel like that's mutual. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. It's not moving as fast as you would like though. I feel like the person you're dealing with is not moving as fast as you would like and that's kind of why you're sitting here like wondering like, are you doing the right things? I absolutely think you are doing the right things. I think that this is just a slow moving person. Others of you, this could be you moving too slowly towards what it is that you want. Some of you, there could be some sort of fear, right? You know what you want and you're putting all your energy and effort into it, but it's not coming as quick as you would like. And it could be because you have subconscious fears that are blocking you from truly being able to put in all the effort that you know you can put in. Some of you are have been on a very long process towards getting happiness. Some of you, this is towards building your retirement fund or finding the career that is meant for you. But, you know, you are on your way. You are getting to where it is that you need to go. Everything that is happening in the meantime is what is meant to happen. So just allow yourself to have faith and to trust the process that you're going towards. The Page of Pentacles here. There is a strong sense that if you're waiting too long for somebody to offer you what it is that you want, you're going to t you're going to take a stand and offer them, you know, you're going to ask them for what it is that you want without wait without waiting here. I am sensing though for some reason that this wouldn't be a good idea. I'm sensing that this is the type of person that likes to be the one who initiates things. That if they're moving for if they're moving slowly, it's for a reason. But if they're moving slowly because they weren't interested in you, this is not that type of person. They would honestly be upfront and tell you they're not going to waste a second with any energy that they don't feel would fit their future. They've wasted a lot of time with people in the past and they're not about that anymore. So I feel like if you're, you know, feeling the need to rush things or to um, offer this person something that you want them to offer you, don't feel the need to rush. Just allow them to offer it when it, the time is right. Because if this person is waiting, it is for a reason, right? I don't think this person is fully ready as much as I want what you want. I don't think they're exactly at that point where they're able to give you what it is that you want. They want to make sure that they're ready. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is working. I think that you don't realize how much effort this person is putting in behind the scenes towards being with you. So maybe this is a situation where this person wants to get themselves financially ready. They want to work on their career and build themselves. Those of you, this is somebody who is dealing with a lot of emotional baggage, things from the past that they need to heal from. And, you know, in some ways, I feel like you might have triggered them. You might have shown them certain things that they did not deal with, that they have not healed from. And they're really working on themselves here. But this person has a bigger picture here, working on themselves, focusing on their success and their happiness, their contentment gets them closer to that point where they can be with you. And the, the two of you guys can have what it is that you want together here. So if you're dealing with somebody that's working a lot, don't worry. Don't feel like they aren't paying attention to you. This is how they build for your future. This is in their eyes. This is them building for your future. This is them putting energy and effort into you guys having a future in the future. Page of Wands here. Some of you are going to have other offers, other opportunities come into your life while this person is focused on work. Some of you, this is the fact that you're focused on work and there's other op options coming into the person that you're dealing with here. I feel like this is just kind of like a phase where there may be somebody who doesn't feel like they're getting as much attention or energy and they may decide to extend some lighthearted flirty energy towards other people but I feel like this is just to pass the time this isn't anything serious with the wheel of fortune here yeah for some of you this is going to um restore the love within you and another partnership here I feel like there's a need to, you know, be flirty with each other, especially if you've been with this person for a very long time. But with this Wheel of Fortune here, there are things that are changing. Life is turning into a better direction, a bigger direction for you here. You are aligned with your faith 
with your fate and you are aligned with your destiny. You are very fixed on what it is that you want for your life and knowing that you're going to get it. Some of you are dealing with a fixed sign in Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Yeah, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio here. All right, let me clarify. I really wanted to use the original, so I decided to use the big with the small. All right, so clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus. The Nine of Pentacles, yeah, you guys are getting clear on what it is that is going to bring you success, what's going to bring you abundance here. And you guys are feeling victorious throughout this week. There is something, some of you, this is an increase in your finances here where you're going to feel, this is like the energy where it's like you walk into a store and you don't even need to look at the price tags. You just can buy whatever it is that you want. There's this energy of, you know, stress being released from you. Some of you, you're finding out what truly makes you feel happy. Clarify the King of Swords. The King of Swords with the Three of Wands here. So yeah, you guys are getting um, clarity is coming towards you here. Your ships are coming in and you know exactly what you need to do to ensure that you get what it is that you are focused on here. Things are going to be moving a lot quicker and if, especially if you've been putting in a lot of energy and effort into something and you haven't been seeing the results. All of a sudden, it's like, with the, it's like a wheel of fortune. All of a sudden, things are going to shift overnight. It's like overnight, you're going to get all this fame and all of this success. Overnight, you're career is going to change overnight your life is going to change and I feel like you know you have been preparing yourself for this you have been you know ready for this for so long and it's going to come at a time that is so unexpected but it is just going to be such perfect timing for you where it's going to be like all of this waiting all of this slow moving is finally worth it clarify the ten of pentacles a lot of, you know, all of this is pentacles, you guys. All of this is pentacles. This is all about stability. This is all about a solid foundation. This is all about a home, creating that comfortable life, whether you're single or in a relationship. And you're, so whether you're creating this life for yourself so that you can be happy on your own, whether you're creating this life for yourself so that you can, you know, put the energy into finding somebody once you're stable, or whether you're doing this for you and the person that you're dealing with. This is all about stability long term. So clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Money is on your mind. The devil here. Some of you are having a hard time focusing on work because you are attached to somebody here. You feel like, yeah, I'm getting this sense of there's this image that you have for your life, this way that you have, you know, that you think everything is going to go and having a partner right now doesn't really fit with that. Maybe this is because with this double energy, whenever you feel connected to somebody, you become possessive, you become controlling, you become obsessive over them. And then you decide to, you know, think about them constantly. You're focusing on them constantly and you can't really focus on your work, right? I feel like some of you guys are you know, trying really hard to push love and put it on the back burner because you know how consuming love can be for you. And you know that you need to build yourself in order for you to be able to build a future, to be able to build a relationship here. I think there's a need for you to be able to balance both, right? You can't just master one and then decide that you're going to master the other. I think that you need to be able to master both at the same time. So if there is a love connection that you have in your life, I don't think that you need to push it out. I think that you need to learn to be able to balance that love connection and fighting for your life or fighting for your life, fighting for the things that you want for yourself in your life here. But there is some sort of addiction here. Some of you, there's some sort of addiction that's holding you back from getting the things that you want. This could be self-doubt, right? Negative talk. Others of you, this could be something that you are addicted to. This could even be um, procrastination, right? You're just addicted to procrastinating things over and over and over again, just pushing them off to the side, pushing them off to the side. This could be alcohol, right? You, you know, you know, you have a full day of work to get done, but for some reason you, you know, decide to have a drink in the morning and then you end up drinking throughout the whole entire day. This is different for everybody, but this is something that you do way too much of here. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. With the Five of Pentacles here. There is somebody here that, you know, holds um, 
that you hold in high regards that you're currently not speaking to, somebody that you want to have a stable, solid foundation with that is not speaking with you right now, you could have this person blocked or they could be blocked out of your life here. There's a lot of miscommunication between you and this person and I feel like both of you guys, you know, this person's trying to understand you, you're trying to understand the situation, you're trying to understand what happened and what went wrong within this connection here. I think that there is somebody here who lost faith in this connection and somebody knows that this is something that just right now wasn't meant to be but later on you guys are going to come back around for some of you there's somebody that you are you feel codependent towards and if you don't feel happy with them like if things aren't going great within your relationship with them or within the communication that you have with them then your whole you know you go into this devil energy where you can't function you can't focus maybe this is what you know so this is why you're avoiding relationships but others of you, oh yeah, so and then the other side is when things are going great, it's like you're flourishing within your work, you're on top of everything, but it's like you allow this person to control you. You allow your stability to be in this person's hands. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. With the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, because there's a relationship here that is trying to flourish, but for some reason, somebody keeps going in and out of the connection. Somebody can't make up their mind as to what it is that they want here. I feel like somebody's holding back because they know how attached they can be. And I think that there's this connection with you and them that is 10 times stronger, even if it may be, you know, somebody that you only recently met. It's just so strong already that this person knows where it can go. This person knows that if it doesn't go well, it's not going to be good for them. It's not going to be good for their stability. And they're trying to focus on their stability so much that, you know, they won't they won't give too much without um pulling back because they know what will happen and i think that's why things are moving too slow clarify the page of pentacles with the king of wands here so there will be an offer here this relationship will flourish but it will be when this person matures when this person looks at themselves and you know really takes in what the situ what situation they're currently in where it is that they need to go how it is that they can heal when they realize that they can't avoid a connection because they're going to be possessive when they realize that they need to deal with the the reasons why they feel the need to be possessive right it's not that you avoid something in order for something not to happen it's that you you know you deal with something you go into a situation knowing that this is how you can be but trying to figure out how to you know go about it in a different way not avoiding relationships at all costs so somebody's going to be maturing somebody's going to be growing here and that's when a beautiful opportunity is going to be presented here but i think where you guys have already pictured things going for some reason may get pulled back because of um somebody not being on the same page right somebody not being on the same level emotionally where they can give and take Clarify the Seven of Pentacles with the Page of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, because somebody can't focus on work because they're, oh my goodness, yeah, somebody can't focus on work because they don't, they feel like they don't have enough information, they feel like they don't see enough, there's somebody that's constantly testing you, there's somebody that constantly feels like there's other people in the picture, this is somebody that definitely, you know, looks at your social media, Look, they, they go looking to find things, this is their devil energy, this is that energy, is that when they become when they are in love, they become codependent, they become very possessive and very controlling. What's mine is mine, right? Ownership here. This could be you guys, right? You guys are very possessive. So you have, some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio too here. Some of you, this is somebody that has to focus on work, you know, way more than they normally would, just so that they're not constantly obsessing over you, constantly thinking about you here. This is a very stable, grounded person, but when it comes to love, love controls them. They control everything, but love controls them. Clarify the Page of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, whatever like lighthearted, flirty energy that I did see coming in because somebody was too focused on themselves and not on this connection, there is some sort of betrayal here. So some of you need to be careful because some of you, the person that you're dealing with may be testing you by bringing their friends in, bringing other people in to flirt with you, to extend their lighthearted energy towards you, to see how you will respond, how you will react here. There's a strong energy of somebody for sure testing you. So definitely be careful because this could be a test 100%. And others of you, if you have somebody that is rushing in here, that is, you know, 
pretty much like laying down a beautiful foundation and future of how life is going to be with you uh with each other and you've only known this person for like let's say a month or less then know that this is somebody who you know has ulterior motives they're just saying what they want to say in order to get what they want from you and this person is somebody who will disappear after okay clarify the wheel of fortune oh the Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords, or sorry, the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords, sorry, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Star here. So this is saying that things are going to change drastically here. Whoever was cautious, whoever felt the need to put their guard up, and whoever was afraid is going to be putting their guard down. They're going to be more open to this connection. Instead of running away from it, they're going to go into this connection with faith that it will work out. There's going to be a lot of expression, a lot of emotion, you know, emotions that were expressed whatever was at a standstill whatever wasn't moving is definitely going to be moving forward here this is somebody who has mutual feelings for you and i think that you know both of you guys having this talk is going to help put whoever felt cautious whoever felt afraid it's going to help them to realize that they have nothing to be afraid of afraid of because you're both going to be open and honest about how you truly feel with one another and it's going to lead to a lot of healing it's going to lead to somebody who was once you know very fearful dropping their guards down and putting in the energy and effort into this relationship knowing that the more that they put is how they're is what they're going to get right if they're pulling back all you're going to do is pull back or if you're pulling back all they're going to do is pull back you're realizing that the more you give the more comfortable you're going to feel the more safe and secure you're going to feel with one another here so i think that this was really just a bunch of misunderstandings some of you this is miscommunication here with the person that you're dealing with some of you this could be distance right that you guys are on opposite ends of the world and with somebody feeling the need to be so possessive it would be very hard to trust that type of person but i really feel like communication honest communication is really what can you know make this whole entire thing flip but if you guys want to follow me to the extended we're going to take a deeper look at the love reading we're going to look at the love energies um, that go on with you and this person see you know how things can change for the better with it, you and this person the extended is going to be who is on your mind so who is on your mind right now whoever it is that you want to be with whoever it is that you're currently with and wanting to move things um, to a better direction, you know, if you want to know what their true intentions are, all of that information. So the link for that will be down below. Personal readings will be down below as well. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, and I will see you guys next week. Take care.